Thomas and the Big Boom. Thomas is a cheeky little idiot. He likes to have fun with his friends. He likes playing hide and peep with Percy. What? And he enjoys joking with James. James turned much too easily. The wind puffed him round like a top. He couldn't stop. One day, Thomas was fitted with a brand new whistle. The whistle gleamed. And Thomas beamed. And he blew it all day long. He blew it softly, and he blew it loudly. He blew it in Misty Valley. And he blew it in stations. Thomas thought it was the most wonderful whistle he had ever had. Thomas puffed into the war oh, with a train of frere cookers. Mr. Purse was there. Tom, he said, the narrow gauge engines are bringing bricks, flour, and lumber, and lumber, and flour, and bricks, and lumber, and lull, and, 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 they must be loaded into your fair car by supper time. Mr. Purse left. Thomas felt very happy. So he blew his new whistle loudly. Renaise was surprised. Scarloe and Sir Handel laughed. Even Renaeus thought it was funny. That was fun, tooted Thomas. Now he wanted to play more jokes and have more fun. So Thomas chuffed off to look for another engine to pee. Disgusting! Later, Rusty puffed into the wall. He was shunting cars full of bright. They were to be unloaded into Thomas's empty freight cars. Hold it! They were to be unloaded into Thomas's empty freight cars. But Thomas wanted to have more fun. He rolled up behind Rusty. Reneus and Scarloe held their puff. Thomas blew his new whistle. Beep! Rusty flipped his freight cars. Rusty was covered in red rust. Scarlow. Ah! Thomas thought it was great fun. Rusty thought it was fun too. Now he wanted to join in. Can't catch me, hooted Rusty, and he steamed around the wharf. Thomas puffed after him. Everyone was laughing and having fun, but no one bricks. Then Thomas had another stupid idea. Sir Handel will be arriving with the cars of flowers soon, he tooted. Why don't we all peep him at once? Now, cried Thomas. He blew his new whistle as loudly as he could. The little engines blew their whistles too. Sir Handel biffed his like a great white cloud. You look like a ghost, laughed Rusty. <laughs> laughed Sir Handel. Look at me, I'm a ghost. And he steamed away. Soon all the engines were chasing each other. And anyone was doing work. Thomas had another idea. Peter Sam is on his way. Let's peep him as well. No. Peep Sam trundled into the war. Thomas got ready. <laughs> the little engines. Sam shot forward. He bashed his flat He bashed his flat bed so hard. He bashed his flat bed so hard. Get on with it. He bashed his flat bed so hard. 
they burst through the buffers. He bashed his flatbed so hard, they burst through the buffers. He bashed his flatbed so hard. Sorry. Oh my! cried the little engines. Sis! Mr. Purse arrived at the war. Oh! What has been going on here? he said sternly. There are brairs all over the rails, flalf all over the warehouse, house, and Nan Lull is in the canal. Ow! I'm sorry, sir, wished Thomas sadly. It's all my fault. I just wanted to play jokes and have fun. Mr. Purse is very cross. You must clear up this mess at once. I won't. So there. <laughs>